Good morning. Welcome to this devotion for Wednesday of Holy Week 2020. I'm Pastor Phil Vickers. I've been reflecting ever since this coronavirus predicament began on its impact uh, on the church and on the community of believers. And there's one concept that keeps coming up that has so many connections to what's going on right now, and that's the, the idea of fasting, which is so much a part of our Lenten season and our Lenten tradition leading up to this holiest of weeks on the church calendar. You know, we fast for a couple of reasons. Uh, we give things up in one way in order to be able to appreciate other things in life. Sometimes there are habits and activities that can eat up so much of our time and our thought that we lose sight of all the rest of life. We lose sight, perhaps, of the bigger picture. And so giving up some things, some habits, can allow us to focus on all else that is. Another reason we might give something up is to appreciate how good that is thing is. And this year, I keep thinking that we are fasting from church. We're fasting from our Holy Week, even. And it's an odd feeling. I wrote down some of my first reflections on this odd feeling in a devotion called Sermon for an Empty Church, which you can find on our Facebook page. But in that reflection, I, I think about Maundy Thursday, which is tomorrow. And the ceremony that takes place during that service called the stripping of the altar, where a psalm is read and all the beautiful pyramids and candles and books and cups that decorate our sanctuary are removed, and finally even the pastor gives up their stole and it is taken out of the sanctuary also as a symbol of the absolute emptiness which is left after the sacrifice of Christ. When we do that stripping of the altar, we're fasting from celebration. We're fasting from the beautification of the space. We're fasting from the normal joy that we find in the faith so that when Easter comes, we've taken the journey. We've walked with Christ through sacrifice, through pain, through doubt, and into the joy of the resurrection. And because we have fasted from celebration, that joy means all the more. Easter is elevated by Maundy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, indeed the whole season of Lent. And so this strange Holy Week, this strange season, even though we're not able to gather for our services, we're not able to be all together to strip the altar, to sit at the foot of the barren cross on Good Friday, not able to wait with all of creation through Holy Saturday to that empty tomb. The situation has kind of allowed us to enter into the same space that we would were we able to gather together. We're in that time of fasting from church. And so we are walking with Jesus through that time of emptiness. And just as in Holy Week, Easter is elevated by that time of waiting, so when we get back together, whatever that might be, I have a sense that the joy we are going to experience, the thankfulness that is going to be present in our congregation is going to be more than worth the wait that we are experiencing now. I look forward to that day, and even as I do, I continue to, to wait and to watch and to be present with these moments, and I encourage you to do so as well, because doing so will only lead you to appreciate more 
when the time of fasting is over. Prayers be to you this day. God's blessings. Keep the faith. And we look forward to seeing you again.